We're not ready yet, ninja. All right, we're ready now. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to have another a turnaround today. We're going to get a 14 hour stream yesterday. Damn. You're playing rested? Really oh, yeah. Away. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Run around, run around at four, got up around now. You can do the math. We're good. Nice, nice, nice. How'd it go? Went fine. Good to, good to see you today, though. I didn't expect you today, but I'm like, cool. Yeah, I didn't go to the office today. I'll stay home. So I was like, okay, well, let's jump into the normal schedule before nights. I'm, I'm not, hey, I'm, I'm down with that. You know, like, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 let's fucking, let's fucking go. Like, oh, yeah, let's fucking go. We're playing on the Xbox Series X today. Dude, let's people are like, well, what do you normally play on the Xbox? <laughs> really? That sack of shit came in. No, fuck you. Who's that? You came in and then you left. Now it's only three of us. Like we give a fuck, but fuck you. Go work for Hardy's. Go work for, work for Hardy. Go work for Hardy's, right? And go work for Hardy's. Stop keep joining and rejoining. You were here and then you were gone. <laughs> Let's do this. Now you gotta wait 40 minutes. An hour. Now back. you gotta wait an hour. Yeah, Zaxby. <laughs> Work at uh four thirty today, Riff? Uh five fifteen. Gonna gonna get ready around around four thirty, you know, get some get some Zaxby's. It's a Wawa? No, a Wawa, right? I almost went last night. Tuna? No tuna, God. No tuna? Yeah, no tuna, no tuna. As Wings would say, get up to get some Zaxby's. Yep. I don't even have a Zaxby's. Hello, Mr. Punish One.
Let's go. Let's go. You sure did. I am glassing everywhere. Got some boogie bombs for you, man. Four of them. All right, I'm coming your way, but yeah, I was glassing everywhere. Like this motherfucker really just whatever. Right. Uh, for fuck's sake, what are you doing? Not you, him. Hello. Okay, he lost his fucking mind. Here, eat boogie bomb. <laughs> We're gonna be stupid, eat boogie bomb. No, it wasn't taken out of context. Uh, it, look, look, okay? <laughs> I think I can say this. Uh, I mean, you sound like I want to say something wrong. Like, DSP, have you ever been around normal people? Is that something... That is so old, DSP. Selling her off for profits? Like, the fuck? I mean, I you know, I know people are, like, are saying the old stuff. I don't lie. How about how about now? Like that's fucked up now because you're you're like it's like talking about trafficking. This this small little girl in this game, you weirdo. <laughs> it's almost like he's he's saying that oh this guy can't have a daughter like that. Well, like
exactly Zach's, Zach's time. And that that's where I'm going with. Yes, it is no joke. All right, boys, we're going to do this for like what? I mean, that's a little bit of the old DSP right there. Like people are like, oh, that was that was the old DSP coming out there. Absolutely, and he's just gonna brush it off and go, I'm DSP, give me money, give me money. I'm DSP, give me money, give me money. Hit them with the boogie bomb. That worked. Oh, you mother... F whatever, fine. Let's, let's leave me with my friend here. You're my friend now. Fine, fine. All right, all right, we good. But every joke, Roddy Boomer, and you know this, I know this, is poorly thought out. DSP thinks out everything bad, and he thought, well, all my... my uh, all my people are going to love it. I'm going to say I'm going to sell her off for profits. And I'm like, your deadheads don't give a fuck because they never do. Like, I can't. It, I it, Like, dude, dude, like, for fuck's sake, you never, ever think about ever anything actually anymore. It's just, okay, guys, we're going to sell her off for profit. Like, what? It's because he's so boring and shit when he does something like that, it's big news. Like, it's out of so left field, you're like, what? It's really just, you know, him being so mundane and boring and they're like, what? I mean, if you if you if you wanted to say if if, uh, if you really wanted to nail him, you say DSP. Like if you you want me to dig deeper into the into it, I know some people are like please don't. DSP thinks that uh, 
people of color get sex trafficked more. What he thinks. Jojo a go go, indeed. No. I well last night Brandon was mad at him about the accessibility thing of Last of Us. Cause DSP's trying to have his hate is trying to have his like I hate Neil Druckmann, I do believe. I hate him. But and then and then Brandon goes, but Neil Druckmann put accessibility features in the game. And now he has to go, oh, I'm sorry. I, I mean, uh, Brad, I like, I like money. I mean, like I said, you know, it's, it's, they're starting to realize something, but you know, it's one of those things, right? is if you give someone something better or they keep i mean it's impossible for them to not see all the stuff that's been said about dark side phil now even if you know now that we got rapper responses <laughs> unlock the vader skin it's of power of mine look into your heart you know it's true we can rule the galaxy as father and son gonna die here anyway guy up there but wow you guys <laughs> wow What the fuck were you doing? You're like, you're like work right there. They literally was like, whoa, free shot. But <laughs> like, I guess not. Ow. Kick him. I'm, I'm tired of him coming in and out. That was a perfect shot too. Oh, that's uh, that was the other guy. That's not an idiot. Uh, no, 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 that guy was an idiot. Like I threw the boogie bomb, and then I boogie bombed me. And I guess there is another guy that needed to be boogie bombed. Yeah, there was three, and they were all there getting down. And I guess everyone was like, "Oh look, it's a," or maybe everyone was dancing actually. Maybe everyone was dancing, couldn't take the shot when I'm now I'm thinking about it. But it was a perfect shot. If that motherfucker leaves, I'm gonna yell at him. Yeah, he's not your friend, he's not my friend, he's not his friend. It's I'm just saying, if he if he leaves, yeah. I'm gonna fucking get him. I'm gonna fucking get him. Stop 
could match. Yes, I, I love King Duke. He's been around one one of my one of my favorites because <laughs> I don't want to watch eight hours of failure. I know some people want to watch eight hours of failure. I, I, I an hour is fine. An hour is good. Two hours is okay. But I don't want to watch eight hours. Like some of those, this is how you don't know, plays are like, holy shit. One comes to mind is that is the Donkey Kong 64 merit. One that is eight fucking hours long. Are you like, what? Like, holy shit. And they're getting and they're getting better and faster and better. Like they, they edit while they uh they edit while he where the playthrough is going. It's kind of smart. At least we know the boogie board is the best thing in the world. Boogie on down. Boogie on down. Boogie on down. What's up, everyone? I want you guys to free your mind, free your mind. Didn't miss. Oh my God, I totally forgot. I was going to say, why did anyone say anything? I'm getting shot too, fuck. I gotta go hide in the hay real quick. for that i'm excited for it just like i'm sure you guys are these are offensive content interesting when it comes to offensive uh, content uh, do improv commentary on speaking of which he ain't going anywhere for that not really address something but i feel like it's oh he's gonna address something um, not really no, address something a large group of scumbags who follow me all over the internet no you're a scumbag what here it is we humanly can to slander me defame yeah. me you're already defamed and basically make it make me look like a horrible human being to as many people as they can you are a horrible human being point <clears throat> i really don't see the purpose bill of this. you are a horrible human being it's just an inevitability at this point okay that's i don't know why you think that you're a good human like, I, like you're I, a horrible human today i'd be you know, told it would that. still be a dipshit. I, I, I farted when I carried it, and man, the smell was just so unbearable, and I should be chastised for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is on the internet. So, 
the other day. Oh. You're not killing. You're not gonna cure cancer, Phil, because you're a dumbass. Commentary on this game, and I'm doing my usual style of improv commentary. And it's improv commentary, commentary that I've done over the time. It's not any different. Just in time, guys. All right. Time for profits. Do all kinds of things on the. Cover. I'm glad that you say we don't. It's I'm. I'm glad you were not in your head. I'm sorry. When I'm talking I over them. Commentary on a game like this, where it's primarily narrative based. <clears throat> okay. It's completely off the cuff and unexpected. And sometimes I'll try to purposely say something ridiculous to break the mood up. For example, in this game, you've got hostage situations. You've got people getting shot. You've got someone commits suicide in the game. It's pretty crazy. Or attempts suicide, I guess I should say. It's not clear if it actually worked or not. <clears throat> That's but the point I'm making here is this is something that I've always done. And, you know, everyone has always enjoyed it, okay? They enjoyed it? It's only now that people literally will try to make things up to make me look bad. So, the thing is, some people have asked They me enjoyed me that? Because people are saying this about you in the last few days in regards to commentary you've done or whatever. No, I don't. I don't actually have to address it at all. It's bullshit, and everyone knows it. You're addressing it. Between these two ears, knows... I have a brain. On camera. You know what I mean? Like, the problem is with the people who don't like... We saw you all for profits. ...to do is take what I say and say, well, if you add this guess, this extrapolation, this spin, this assumption, if you add all of this, plus what Phil said, it's terrible. Oh, my God. No, no, nope, nope. I, I got it immediately. If you add all of this bullshit, you wanted to sell a you wanted to sell a young girl for profits. You can make assumptions that are horrible. Well, I didn't say any of that, nor is that even in my head. You know what I mean? Like, sadly, I hate to say it. In the modern day, it's like ESP thinks black people get sold off more than white people. That's what he. That's that's what you think. You have to deal with at a very young age. Assuming you're at a very even more young age. Even though you didn't do it. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Even when they're the, the sex trafficking ring is worse now than it ever has. Used humor, and in particular... It's not humor, that's that's not humor. What if situational humor in game... That's not, that's not humor, homie. That's not, ho that's not humor, that's terrible. This kind of game's on the map, okay? No one had issue with it, but today in the modern era... No, they have issue back then. You just didn't listen to them because, you know... The villain on the internet, all right? You are the villain. So I'm not going to address any of their bullshit because it's bullshit. It's <laughs> well. While you're addressing it now, a moment to specifically address the nonsense. That's you're never good at. You're never good at PR. You never was. Fabrication based off of them, completely. Phil, how come you can't just say I said something stupid and move on? And I'm not putting up with that shit anymore. I'm just not. I have no reason to address it. That's the last thing I'm saying about it. They can they can literally make up whatever they want. He's talking about the thing about the uh, selling off to profit line. I'm not line. paying attention to it anymore. All right. For me, he's he's uh address. He's gonna name. turtle it and go like I didn't say it, guys. Only gives them what they want. They want nothing more than for on this very podcast this morning. They want me. They don't give a fuck, old, Bill. Trying to defend myself. To save face. And to well, guess what, Phil? That's what you're doing right now. I'm not giving giving them that that satisfaction. Oh my God, I'm so sad, guys. We're not getting the satisfaction. There's no reason to address the nonsense they say and do. We're not getting it, guys. I'm, I'm so sad. So, fuck them. Let's move on. Fuck us. Let's move on. So, again, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the game today, and we'll see if I beat it or not. I mean, I might, I might not. There's six chapters. We're basically four and a half chapters into it. <clears throat> At first, the chapters. I'm not going to address it, guys. I'm not going to address that I wanted to sell a black girl for profits. Three was 90 minutes, and I almost get the, the weirdest line ever that's ever uh, muttered to to me. So Everyone loved racist jokes back then. No, they didn't, Phil. No, they didn't. Okay. Today's late stream at 6:45 p.m. Pacific time is Friday Night Fights. It's where I play old school fighting games once a week. Hey, double down. Fuck it, you know. It's still giving us consistent matches and a lot of. You know what I could say? Versions of Darkstalkers plus. I was, and of course, I am that guy. I go DSP for that special supports young trafficking. Those of you who are enjoying 
uh, this new collection. And Congratulations, new you're a moron. Time with it. And I know that many of you like the fact that. And I then DSP goes like, "No, I don't. I don't do that." Then what the fuck is this line here? Okay. Tomorrow, the main gameplay stream will be Stray, and again, it may be the end of the game. It may not. If I believed reports on how long Stray was, it's the end of the game. It would have been four hours long. We've already played six hours. Yeah. And uh, guess what? Because you're really slow at it. Oh, I just arrived at a giant city that apparently seems to have content in it that's going to be lengthy. It's no, it's not going to be lengthy and vibrant. So I'm having. It's interesting. I cannot wait to play more tomorrow. I, I play games like I want it to be over as quickly as possible. Like Stray. At least he gives an apology. That it has been at. A like it would delete the video. Like Wings would delete that whole playthrough and go like, was it some stupid? It gone. Something it gone? It's gone. Say when I started playing this game, um, I thought it was going to be a cute scene. Hey Wings, are you going to play? Uh, What happened to that, that, that stream last night? Honestly, it's something stupid. That this indie studio put this out is... DSP says, I said something stupid and you're stupid for of content, thinking here the vibrance of, of, of everything in it the lore it's a great game I am immersed in this and I cannot wait to play it again. I am immersed in this <clears throat> okay tomorrow night Saturday night something exciting something different and something that I was not expecting to do I want to say shout out to the person multiverse to, to the, the person here we go again guys but someone, Man, the person really is great. Some early access uh, to the multi versus beta. The you know, we could really run on that. No, it was public later this week on the 26th of July. But I get access now. I have. I can play it right now if I want it. But, because but I'm you're not. Scheduling. Stop no. saying that you can play something and you're not it's going to. Beta. For those who don't know, multi versus is a game. That is similar to Smash Brothers, or at least God, I don't treat people like like morons like he does. Properties including DC Comics superheroes, the Scooby Doo cast, the Steven Universe cast, the Adventure Time cast, the Looney Tunes, among others. Do you know the Looney Tunes? People who played it over the past couple of days actually really like it, so I'm excited. A lot of people are saying, "Yeah, it kind but of you're not excited enough to play it now." Smash Brothers. Is that a good or bad thing? I guess it depends on your situation and your perspective. Your situation. Said about that, but Smash Brothers is done. You guys realize that, right? Like the last what? Smash Brothers is done with. The producer of the series is not working on Smash anymore. So if you want more info like that, this is kind of your thing. So if you kind of hate on what? Kind of bit off of Smash Brothers. That's what they're looking for. Well, you thanks for dying with me. Desire for more gameplay like that. They're trying to satiate that desire with a different cast. What's the problem with that? Right? Anyway, I'm excited to check it out tomorrow. This is like a combination of kind of cutesy fun. Like if you, I will definitely download it, but I don't have a code. It's kind of neat to be playing. I know, I know. Environment. They, Watch Switch streams. Acting is is neat. I'll try. Of that, you know, people are saying not. Nah, I have a problem with Twitch streams, so it's a me thing, not a not a platform it's thing. Pretty neat. It might be a really good game. So it's like a dual thing, like silly fun. Twitch streams are just not my bag. I'm excited to check it out tomorrow. And what I've actually done is I've set it up so I'll check it out a couple nights. I'm probably going to play it both Saturday and Sunday night. The game is free to play. But you ain't going to play that much. Until you play it enough to unlock them with in-game currency you earn via matches. Or you can buy them. Like right off the get-go, you can drop like $30, $40 into this game and you unlock all the characters. Well, obviously I'm not going to do that. But I'm excited to try this out, okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, tomorrow night, Multiverses. Uh, then on Sunday, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but it really depends on everything. I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably do Fable Anniversary because I haven't played it now in a long time, like a week. And probably Sunday night we'll do more multiverses. Then Monday's mainstream may be Final Fantasy VII. And the night stream could be highly dependent on what we need to finish up. Did we not finish up As Thus Falls or Stray? Do we need another stream of it either to finish it up? Okay. And then Tuesday uh, is the final uh, day. Okay. The final day. Today, Tuesday is the final day of streaming this week. So just to reiterate, this week is different. I know last week was different. It went extra long. This week is a five-day streaming week. Wednesday is my day off this coming week. Wow. Oh, good. That's what aligns with my wife's work schedule. Every week now, it might fluctuate. You, know, you can do about it. 
you know, my wife still works retail, and when you work retail, they change your schedule around, and they did again, and it's like, damn, what's the day that makes sense this week to have off? He probably works a different job. Based on our schedules aligning, all right? So uh, Our schedules aligning. No, her schedule aligning. That's my streaming week, and I'm off on Wednesday for this week. No, her schedule aligning. Uh, now, what else is going on? Well, remember, Saturday, July 30th, the marathon is here. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday, July 30th. The marathon is here. Hey, Phil, we did a marathon yesterday. Of dark side feels class. Oh, my God. I, I hope there's a feather boa in there and a condom. My dark recesses. Let's just put it down. We, 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 uh, we know what's in there. You just don't want to admit it. Man, you can imagine. What's going to You don't want to admit it. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Like I said, it's one week from tomorrow, and it's a marathon, meaning we're just gonna chill all day. It's gonna be a computer. In my closet, and I pull things out of it, and we see what they are. And I tell stories behind it, and some things we'll keep and put on the streams or implement in my content. We, we need to do like a Grandpa Phil segment or something. And some things. Maybe I'll if I'm thinking musical. I'm thinking Phil's in the closet, the musical. It's totally unique, all right? Never. But we need any lyrics. Stuff in my Anyone know how to make some good lyrics? Years since I moved here and sat in a bin and was never touched. So this will be. Well, we have to see it to see, you know. Some stuff that that you know may have some some interesting stories and finds in there, and, and it's gonna be cool. I feel it's gonna be a fun, chill time. By the way, yes, there'll be a feasting with the king that will take place during. Oh my god. Okay, so there you have it. Um, the only other thing, excuse me. No, as I already explained, I can't give away. No, Phil, it, you said you wanted to sell a young girl for profits. Can you, can you just give everything away? No. <laughs> Allow me to explain something to you guys. Back in the day when I used to make a ridiculous amount of money and I wasn't up to my Ridiculous eyeballs, amount of money. <laughs> I used to do something that I called the hard one. hopes, man. <clears throat> it's been hitting at it hard. Every year during the busiest gaming season of the year, I would actually on a weekly basis hold a giveaway where hundreds of people would compete to try to get uh, something that I was going to give away, whether it was a game, maybe the collector's edition content of a game. Oh, no, guys, you ain't getting shit. Uh, whatever it may be, it used to be various different things. Okay? I'm broke, guys. Really you ain't getting shit. My autograph back then. I can't imagine why they would want it now, but back then I was more popular on the internet and people wanted my autograph. I was more popular on the internet. <laughs> no exaggeration, okay? <clears throat> would cost a ridiculous amount of money to ship to people because I have a worldwide audience. It's not like everyone that watches me is in the United States. In fact, we just did the, the numbers the, uh, about a week ago. Only about 45%. He was making great money on Twitch. More than half the people who watch my content are actually outside of the USA. No. Exorbitant shipping costs. Okay. No, that's your fault. And to put this into perspective, some of the, the things I used to say, I would. You could have shit it on USA. Box, pamphlet, soundtrack. Remember, it didn't have the game in it. You know, a small game case. Mail it to the UK. Forty dollars. Now back. You're the one that did that. Because back then I was making all. You shipped them empty game cases. That was weird. So who cared, right? They just blow the money. It doesn't make a difference. Today's wow situation. Ten years. Wow, this motherfucker's like, I got money. Man. You know, look, I there's something wrong with spending some money when you get it. Project Seven T-shirt. When I first moved to Washington. Some, not all. To my Patreon. Crispy Mantis, hello. Actually, you know, get an autographed shirt or whatever. Sometimes the cost of that to mail it to someone was upwards of forty to fifty dollars. That's more than double the value of the shirt that I paid to begin with. It's like, damn. Shipping cost is not cheap, and by the way, it's even higher now. Things have definitely changed. So I sorry, I can't do So well, the answer is he could, but he's broke. As much as some people might be like, oh wow. The answer is yes, but I won't. Sign it and send it to me. I can't. Alright? It's gonna be a trade it in or throw it out. Or I just give you the story. Alright. So anyway, that's coming on July 30th. That should be an exciting event.
I want to, if anyone has anything of DSP gaming, I want to smash it. Further and further away from hitting our tier. If there was a, like, a shirt or whatever. You guys, there are nine. I want to, I want to Undertaker. Not confident that we're going to hit that. At one point, I thought we were. At one point, we were over 550. Because no one cares about your fucking reactions. All it would take is for someone. You're probably going to hit it, but it still wouldn't matter. To come in for a new game release, like Stray or As Thus Falls, and become members, you need to hit it. And then basically what happened is no one became a new member. I'm just being honest. Like, very few people became new members this month. A lot of gifted memberships expired, and now we're in the situation we are in. AJ, thank you for the five gifted memberships yesterday. For the month, which I'm happy about and I'm, I'm grateful for. I'm not disappointed that it looks like there's zero chance we're hitting our tier two members goal. Just to remind you guys what it was going to be is we were going to lock. Oh, you can buy the chug cannon from this dude. We were going to react to something like. Don't mind if I do. Don't play video. Or possibly another documentary from either Frederick Nudson or Junior King. But it looks like we're just not going to do that this month. And I'm okay with that. That's all right. It's not a humongous problem or anything like that. Uh, I just want to let you guys be aware that that's the situation. You know, we're now 70 plus memberships away. It's not looking feasible anymore. So. I need to work on members only content soon. Maybe not. It's not a big deal. Just being honest. Okay. Okay. Phil's day off. Yes. Was not very exciting. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, a lot of errands to run. Oh God. A lot of the thing was a lot of the, the the game news and stuff that happened. I was reading on Twitter. I was like, man, if only I was on stream today to talk about it. And it just so happens it all. I mean, you could. Off, of course. So we'll talk about the game news in a moment, but. In reality, there's not much to talk about. Again, uh, you know, I actually I actually did get paid by YouTube yesterday. Well, it was on... I started doing the math in my head. I'm like, okay, so this week now I've got paid. I got to pay this bill, this bill, this bill. I'm doing this. Yep. I'm like, it's all, it's literally all gone. I got every dollar Holy... with my monthly YouTube payment goes right off to these bills. And How much did he get, so what, Jay Wendell? I got paid, and now I have all this. Not not the low effort, just on spending. On the the closest day. now. Kind of the opposite. So. My wife and I stayed home. What? I went out and ran some errands, and I watched my wife play like, Greedfall a lot. She's a way, way into the game now. Um, man, man, that game has some things that are going for it that are really interesting, and it's got some things that are odd. <clears throat> like, the voice acting in the game is ridiculously peculiar. It's like the makers of the game wanted to create a new accent. I mean, like, it's... it's the, They have characters yeah. in the game that speak in this weird tone and accent that isn't like any language on the planet I've ever heard. And they actively coached people to talk like this because there's multiple people who have this weird- In one day. accent. For $1,000, go in one day. Really stands out. Really like, what? In one day. Uh, it's weird. And then do, we, do we believe that? Uh, sure. Uh, didn't, didn't someone say he spent $480 on WWE Champions? A lot of weird gameplay elements and choices. It was funny because I'm watching her play it, right? And, I, and she's in a, an inventory screen. And there's a weight meter. Like, like you know, in any video game or any RPG, there's like a, you know, you can only carry a certain amount of inventory until you're, oh, you have too much weight in your inventory or whatever, right? The weight meter says 515 out of 300. And I said to her, are you over encumbered? Does that affect anything? She says, I don't know. I never even cared. I just, I play the game. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, I, I never even, like, paid attention to that. And apparently... You sound like a moron. <laughs> so then what's the point of the meter? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the meter does have a point, but according to her, it hasn't negatively affected her in any way. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. The game feels like a mishmash of ideas, some of which are implemented well, and others just aren't implemented at all or, like, half-finished. Another really weird thing about the game is that half the characters have these weird tattoos all over their faces that are just fucking odd. And I understand what they were trying to do. DSP never lived a life culture. at all. Remember in Horizon in the West, they kind of the same thing. Now DSP hates fucking tattoos. Um, DSP wants to sell uh, little kids to trafficking and hates tattoos. Well, you're doing great. They're different groups. And they all have their old You're doing great, DSP. You're doing great. Right? So, you know, there's the singing people of the plains. There's the warrior people who live up in the mountains. And they all look different, right? 
So they kind of went for that. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great. Well, it just, it's, it, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't feel as well as well done. But doesn't feel is, as well done. And is really enjoying it. Um, although she says that there are things that, that are annoying as well. So it is what it is. She likes it. So I watched her play it for you know a few hours actually yesterday as we relaxed. Um, I'm sure you guys are dying to hear what we ate. We eat out once a week. I always die for what you ate. We actually ordered in, and we ordered in from a new restaurant, a seafood I, restaurant near us. Oh, God. The unique part seafood's of Seafood's not cheap. A lot of foods that we don't really have out here. It's, it's completely unique compared to what's available out here. Really? So, uh, Kat ordered boiled Cajun shrimp. Yeah. So what they do is they take a Maybe. Whole, whole shrimp and they boil. When you get to the gaming news section of his of his shitty show. When you get it delivered, what you would think is if you're gonna eat that at the restaurant, what they probably do. Would no feel about eating something at a restaurant. And you take it out, peel it out of the shells and eat it. Right, guys, would no shit about that. Home, they literally put it in a plastic bag full of the broth. By the way, it was fine. It didn't leak or anything. But why is it? it why is a plastic bag so weird to him? For home delivery. It made why is he so weird about this? And there's freaking broth going everywhere. It covered our tablecloth trying to eat this. Like, wow. So we immediately when we finished eating, we had to throw the, uh, the tablecloth. Remember, seafood is very expensive. Absolutely. More expensive now than it ever has we been. Asian shrimp. And I actually tried for the very first time um, catfish. I had never eaten catfish ever in my life. I hate catfish. I had fried catfish. Why did you do such a thing? Really, I've had different fish. I've had cod. I've had tilapia. I've had salmon. I've had... Um, I'm trying to think of different various... Roadhouse has, has catfish. I, not a fan. Not a fan. I didn't know what it was going to be like. I, uh, no, fuck catfish. They actually presented. Um, it just, look, when I say this, it tasted kind of old. I don't know. I've never really. Like, it's really weird. But I guess the way that they do is they take the fish and they make it thin and they bread it. And it's crispy and oh, Basically, the catfish was a much more stronger flavored fish than cod usually when you get like fishing is it because um, it'll be like i, I fucking hated it usually bread and fry up in this case it was uh catfish and it was delicious it was it was way more fishy and stronger of a flavor than standard fish but it was delicious absolutely delicious um this motherfucker knows nothing about food it was actually quite a good restaurant but we were eating it and we're like we like all this food but we really wish that we were there because you feel like if you were there, you I wish you, we were there. You couldn't get in your car and go, Phil. And like you know, it's definitely the trade-off. Did cat sit on you? you know, we before the pandemic, we would go out every week. Things were different before the pandemic. Just being honest, in, in the past what? years with inflation and everything, we would be able to go out and have days out where we could, you know, do stuff. And quite frankly, in the last several months, we just haven't been able to do that. We can't afford it. You know, especially like I, I've told you guys, our grocery bill. You just spent four thousand dollars in one day. Our grocery bill was one level, and now our grocery bill—no exaggeration. One level higher every week. Can, can, can I explain my bills in levels? Things, no. In fact, my bills were this. We now need, my bills are this. So we, all, we buy all the generics, anything that's a store brand or whatever. That's what we get now. Yet yeah, our grocery bill has skyrocketed since before the pandemic. So, you know, my bills are on level one that you would have to have a nice day out. This bill's on level three. So we just stay home and order in every week. And it's kind of sucks because we're eating this food. We're like, man, this would have been absolutely delicious. If we were there and not the worst. Bill, you know what I had yesterday for my 14 hour stream? Two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can go fuck off. It is what it is. <laughs> you can go fuck off with your bougie food. It sucks. But it, you suck. We deal with it. We had a good day off, by the way. It was relaxing. We spent a lot of time with Jasper yesterday. Oh my God! So, oh my God, guys. Basically, Jasper. We didn't realize this. He what? needed to be brushed so bad. So in the morning, I said to Cat, I said, yesterday, because you guys remember on uh, Tuesday when I was streaming, Jasper had. I feel like he is verbally mean to Cat. Look at my hand. My hand. Was you guys get that that feeling that he's verbally mean to her? So in the morning yesterday, 
Like he makes it sound like he is just the nicest guy on stream, but was this hot when he says just you know the mic's on, like I bet he's just verbally mean to her. He's molting like crazy, man. It must be you know change of the weather, summer months. So later in the day, all right, we said let's do it again, and another pile of hair came off of him like this. It's like holy shit, he lost like a pound of hair from this brushing. And it was funny because recently. <laughs> As he's been around here, I've been starting to itch a little bit because I I do have some cat. I just say when first when we first cat allergies many years ago for a straight week I was itching because I have some minor cat allergies. Really, is this what you're gonna go with? Is that why you're itching still? Like adjust it, but every once in a while, every season when he's like you know really really this is this is the lie you're going with. Getting stuff coming off of him, the dander, cat dander. I'll you're a dander. A little bit around him. Okay, and I've been noticing in this last week. Oh, I'm, you have a peanut butter allergy? You have noticed, I've said on stream, I said, man, my face kind of is. I think that's what it was. I think that the he cat. went into this new season where his coat was shedding, and we didn't realize it. And man, did he need a brushing. And so All right. That now, hopefully. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick this up. Reactions I've been having with itching. I've been holding this thing, and why it's now that we're at the end. We had a good it's going to be a bad idea. Too much. But we had a pretty good day at home. Like I said, me watching my wife play grief fall, uh, relaxing, having a good seafood dinner, stuff like that. All right, so not too much to say. It sucks. I hate catfish. It was game, it was game dude. It was the same. All right. So let's start. Get right into the. Oh, I almost said let's get right into the. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get right into the news. Fuse to. Let's. Get right into the news. I did it. I'm not going to say that. I almost said it. <laughs> Let's get right into the news. Let's talk about game news. So first of all, there's a new Dragon Ball game coming out. Yep. Cool. Dragon Ball games. I've played so many of those over the years. I've played fight games. I've played action games. I've played RPGs. I've played hybrids, right? I've played a ridiculous amount of Dragon Ball games in my 14-year tenure as a content creator. So what will this new Dragon Ball game be coming out? I believe it's in October. Well, it's called Dragon Ball The Breakers. And there was a big trailer that released for it. The funny part about it was I watched the trailer and I actually couldn't figure out what kind of a game this was. I was scratching my head and I was like, it seems to be completely based on the planet Damage. <clears throat> like, it seems like the characters who were in that story arc, the Frieza story arc, are trapped on the planet Namek. So you've got Bulma, you've got, uh, was it Oolong? The, the, the I just like Tux in the Boogie Bomb. Character who can transform his body. I can't remember if his name is Oolong or not. <clears throat> and you've got uh, some of the- His name was Par, you idiot. Plus apparently normal citizens. You're a normal idiot. Sense to me, because there are no normal citizens on the planet Namek, it's an alien planet. Really? there be normal citizens, it doesn't even make sense. There's not humans on planet Namek. It's Planet Namek. Namek's live there. The Namek's live there. Right? Guys, I don't know if you know this, but the Namek's live on Planet Namek. Get this. What a moron! Asymmetrical action game. Do you know what that means? It means like 3 or 4 v 1. It's the formula of Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th. Sounds cool. The Evil Dead game that just came out. Or a bunch of other games that have all literally copied each other. That sounds cool. Five years. You know. I don't like those games because everyone wants to be the monster, but that sounds cool. I liked it. Remember, I actually played it because it was a game. Doesn't that sound cool? That sounds cool. Back then, it was a game I know I never really outright bought it. <clears throat> right? But. I definitely enjoyed. Does that sound badass? That sounds so. That sounds cool. This is so, uh, different. This is an interesting premise. One super killer, a super villain, or a monster, or a slasher, or a ghost, coming after four survivors, and the survivors individually are very weak, but when working together. That's actually kind of cool. The uh, head motto. Up against this killer to stun them and escape, they can, you know, do anything cool in the item shop that I need. Uh... To. to hinder the killer and then I really need to get Harley Quinn but I, the other one I thought that the formula the sexy Harley Quinn one and then I, I should get that but and then I played this maybe game. when we're we're done with this stream they're all the same they're literally all the same game with minor tweaks or differences for example in the Evil Dead game that just came out 
<clears throat> oh yeah fatal frame came out with a new one but yeah the killer you can also like a new fatal frame and hdr would be great around the map and you can do other things because you're supposed to be like this disembodied evil that was always part of the evil dead franchise so there's variations on the formula but the asymmetrical action game model is still the same exact deal one versus many overpowered versus underpowered but while working together they can overcome the overpowered person you see um i couldn't believe what i was seeing when i heard this was what the game was i was like you know it'll get people, better eventually yeah i think that's always the case right when do you say okay this is jump the shark right now when they made free <laughs> the, the the killer of the asymmetrical action game and you're now controlling PSP please listen to the podcast please please listen to the podcast you know we've been doing this for 14 years please listen to something you have there's no need for this game to exist I want you know I, it's not the way to change is it no one out there was screaming we want asymmetrical Dragon Ball all right this is literally an, an idea that is not their idea they Bill let them do something cool that's been done to death and they're putting a skin over it to make money. It's a ripoff, is what it is. I've seen the gameplay of it. It looks terrible. It looks like you literally are the most unoriginal game. Yeah, the ever. PlayStation. You were told the classic by edition. Put, put out a game to just print money. That shitty console that I I bought it for like thirty bucks. The sad fact is. And I I hooked it up. I'm like this thing sucks. Dragon Ball games tend to sell. A so he's like, hold my beer. We're gonna we're gonna make the worst classic console you ever seen. You're like, damn, Sony. Well, what's the difference? This thing sucks. Because you seem to be interested in multiverses, and multiverses is just a rip off of Smash Brothers. You're right. I think I hooked it up once, played it once, and I was like, yep, this sucks. For it, the game is over with. You can play what exists, and that's great. You can play it forever and play the game, but it's not going to get any more updates or, or new characters. The seasons of content are done. Now people want something new. That's what Multiverses is doing. It's continuing on. It's satiating that need or desire. What the fuck is he talking about with? They still play Dead by Daylight, and they're still putting out content. You understand what I'm saying? The original game still exists. There's no one out there screaming, man, I wish there was a 742nd asymmetrical action game out there. It's literally a cash grab. Fuck off, Phil. Just formula and try to make money off of someone else's idea. And I hate to say it, that this has become a huge thing in gaming recently. Take a look at games such as <clears throat> the Battle Royale formula. We're literally- Yeah, that's what I'm playing right now. Their sister, their cousin, their dog, they're all making a fucking Battle Royale game because there's no originality in gaming. They all just copy each other to make money, right? And it, you know, the, the, the team-based looter shooter, right? How many of those did we have for about a four or five year period? And this always happens in games that they come in, there's these waves of fads that happen, and literally there's the uh, innovators, the people from Dead by Daylight, absolutely need to be applauded, and you know, yeah, they geez, they, they made a, a, a game that, that people liked, well, that to this day people are still excited to play it and and see new waves of content for it. And I played that game many years ago. They sitting there, one else. No, Phil, you played it for an hour for your fucking marathons and dropped it like a and bitch. I, that's cool to me. That, that like, stop crazy. lying to these people. Does the game really need to be ripped off by every possible fucking company? Yeah, good. A lot of people said to me, Does he, did he forget Dead Evolve was that? Fucking Dead by Daylight. It's the same game. Did Phil forget Evolve? You tweaks here or there. I'm still playing the same game. You know what I'm saying? So, if this game was adding anything to the genre that, that oh my god, it's so different. It doesn't. It's literally... From what I can see, you know what I'm gonna say, guys. Then don't play it. Shut the fuck up. Dragon Ball character. How come you gotta? How come you? Gotta, this is the thing I hate about you. You always have to add shit to things that don't need to be added. Change the the, the plot of Dragon. Why do you always have to add shit? Oh, this is a normal citizen on Namek who's fighting Frieza, but it's a human. There's no normal human citizens on fucking Namek. It's the fucking Namekians live there. If they were all green Namekians, it would make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. I'm like scratching my head. Like, what the fuck is this? You don't make sense. So. Namco's spending that Elden Ring money. It looks like a waste of time in a cat. Is that what they're doing? Maybe you. So it's like this game's been in development before Elden Ring. Like, yes, yes. Like it's anything that I'd be interested in. Okay. You're going to play it. Okay. That's number one. My nose is. Ah. Bothering me. Okay. 
Now let's let's do, do, talk about some positive stuff, and then of course we're going to talk about the oh computers controversy of the Last of Us One remake. Oh boy, is he talking about the computer? To rehash this argument for the millionth time. So, you guys like pizza? I know I do. I love pizza. I'm Italian. I hate. You know what's wrong with his uh, his uh. East Coast you know what sucks about his free stream podcast? There's nothing that's really hit the spot. Or whatever this is. Because I'd like to ask you an interesting question. To say the Turtles game. No! I've never like, fuck you! No! Would you guys like to be part of a fun interactive? No! Dudes! You're the last person I want to have a fucking pizza party with. The last! People are saying. All right. No. So here's the deal, and here's my idea that I came up with last month, actually. <clears throat> no. There's a game coming out in August, the very tail end of August. August 30th, to be precise. It's called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Powerbundle Collection. It is made by a company called Digital Eclipse. That was so cool. Eclipse is the company that made the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Yeah. And we all know my opinion on that. If you play that collection as an offline game, it's actually pretty good. The content is pretty substantial. That collection has a ton of games from Street Fighter. DSP is going to do, do a pizza stream. Street Fighter Alpha and every version of Street Fighter 3. So it's a God, it would be the lamest pizza party ever. 2018, I did a it would be it would be a fucking weirdo hoarding all the pizza we don't get any or arcade mode uh, 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 can I have some pizza now engines you be mean to me it would be the worst pizza party ever I really liked it and said it was something so different from the content that I normally would put out okay so awesome right Excellent. we should have a pizza party um then I played it online and it was a huge mess the online play always sucked the lobby system was non-existent then they patched it in and it still hasn't worked properly <clears throat> one game phil one game never bothered fixing it um it's completely unfinished the game runs at the wrong speeds online on certain stages it's a mess essentially what it is is they wanted to do something that was good for offline play and then try to do an online play and the online play was an afterthought it sucked ass and so the collection isn't very good competitively Nonetheless, it was only the, the only real way that I could play the classics in the last four years, so I literally played the game weekly. For oh, no, Phil. There is plenty of ways to play the classics. I am You're just really stupid. Ditch it when the Capcom Fighting Collection came out about a month ago, and I haven't had to deal with it anymore. Great. Um, so Digital Eclipse has moved on and made other games since then. So the current project they're working on is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Kawabunga Collection. Now, growing up as a kid, I was a ginormous fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I already talked about my history with the Ninja Turtles uh, when I was doing my intro to the game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shred In the end, he'll eat most of it. You're right. That's exactly what it is. He's like, you guys like pizza? Um, I like pizza. The game was a brand new game that was a spiritual successor to the old school. Like, we're not going to get a slice. Fuck you. You're not invited. Um, I loved it. Can I come over to your pizza party? You guys seem like you're having fun. Um, We're nice. I like the difference. We're nicer to each other. Fuck you. Go home. Uh, I actually upped the difficulty. Go home and go fuck yourself. And play with the secret character Casey Jones. I had a lot of fun with it. However, but you guys got you guys got the good shit. The game in about two to three hours. Well, he's probably gonna order from Papa John's or some shit. We're gonna order from. Okay. We're gonna go to Atlantic Pizza. We're gonna order from Atlantic Pizza. Basically, which is down the street. We're gonna we're gonna talk to to my main my main girl, or maybe Fiesta Pizza, which we had a, I had some Fiesta Pizza the other night. And it's sequel Turtles in Time, yeah, the arcade John. edition. We're not talking ports. The actual full on arcade editions with their full on great graphics, music, and content. You try okay. that stuff, cross Then, okay. if you do the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES game, the one that everyone fucking hated, including me. We all, either we all hated it. <laughs> Thank God I didn't buy it. Played it and said, what is this piece of shit? This game has nothing to do with the Ninja Turtles cartoon. I just love this retconning of him playing video games. What is this game? It almost feels like what they did is they superimposed Ninja Turtles over another existing game. Like they made a game that wasn't going to sell. You know, I'm not allowed to have any. I'm not allowed to have girlfriends, so. Lock them in the game and pretend like it's a Ninja Turtles game. 
That's what it felt like to me. So that one stunk. Okay. You it stunk. So annoying, you stunk so now. No one I ever knew ever beat. You stunk. Everyone just hated it. Okay. Speak for yourself. Then the the arcade games came out. And that was the gold mine for Ninja Turtles content because game developers said we could just port the arcade games, and they did. So Ninja Turtles 2... Well, they had to the downport it, but yeah. yes. Ninja Turtles 3... Was good. A unique game. I believe it was called The Manhattan Project, which was a sequel to the arcade game, but it wasn't in arcades. It was actually only at home consoles. It was a whole Ninja Turtles-style arcade game that's not an arcade game. It's only on the NES, and I think it was also ported to the Genesis at one point. Then, when Turtles in Time came out, that was the direct sequel to the arcade game. So in arcades, it was called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, or everyone just called it Turtles 2. But then when it came to home console, I don't think they did. already in Turtles 2, which was the arcade game, and then Turtles 3 was its own original game, so they called it Turtles 4. So in the arcade, you had Turtles 1 and Turtles 2. At home, you had Turtles 1, 2, 3, and 4, and literally none of them aligned with each other numbers-wise, and every kid was confused as fuck as what the fuck you were playing. No one cares. Okay. Now, in addition to all of that, there were Game Boy games. I never played any of the Game Boy games, I didn't own the Game Boy games. Uh, the Game Boy games were great. Okay. Well, I want to say had one of them. Different Game Boy games. And then on top of all of that, they cashed in on the fighting game craze of the 1990s, and they made a Ninja Turtles fighting game. People like that, the, the fighting game. They made two versions. One he never played any of these. System and one the Remember, system. guys, he never played any of these. Plays differently and has a different cast of characters. It's odd as hell, because you could rent it for one console, play it, and be like, oh, I like this game. You could rent it for another console, play it, and be like, didn't I already play this? But no, I didn't, because who's this? Not everyone played the same. Not everyone owned I swear I the Super on. Nintendo and Genesis, Phil. <clears throat> so. Not everyone was rich like you and Linda. Is everything I just mentioned. The two arcade games, the four original NES games, the two versions of the fighting game, and the Game Boy game. By the way, they claim they added online play. Well, you can't have online play for Ninja Turtles 1. That wouldn't even make sense. Um, I guess what they're saying is there would be co-op online play for all of the beat-em-ups. In which case, you have the arcade game, the sequel to the arcade game, and the four... Yeah, they're great. Of Ninja Turtles, I guess. What I would say is where, where the online play would really shine would be the fighting game. Back then, there were no competitions competitively for Ninja Turtles tournament fighters. No competitions. This game competitively was over like emulators, like name and shit back in the day. You used to be able to emulate it and people would actually play against each other over the internet. But that was like, there were no major tournaments ever held for Ninja Turtles, which is hilarious because the name of the game is Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter and there were no tournaments for it. You see, it wasn't held in the same regard as wow. or Mortal Kombat or anything like that. It was just kind of a game you would rent or play at home and that was it. Um... So if they're adding full online capabilities to all these games, not only could you play all the original Ninja Turtles beat-em-ups co-op, which would be fun as hell over the internet, but then you're going to play a, a competitive fighter as well. Sounds like a really cool premise, except it's made by Digital Eclipse. And since I already have history with this company, I have absolutely zero confidence that they will make this game. Wow! What I would say is this game will likely be... A what a cool, bitch! Um, a really cool version of playing these games offline. If you want to go down memory lane and experience all the Ninja Turtles games from start to finish, and you do a fan back in the day, you want to get ultimate nostalgia, that's exactly what this collection is going to be. I know if I win this collection, I'm going to love it because I, I owned and played a lot of these games when I was a kid. But if you're actually looking for like uh, an actual like competitive online experience, I wouldn't expect it. Just being honest, I, I have zero confidence that this thing will work. There probably won't be a lobby system. It's going to be mishmashed together. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. But that's, that's what I'm expecting. By the way, Eric is actually chiming in and saying there was a third version of Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter that was NES only, and that one's in the collection too. I never played that one. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine playing a competitive fighting game on the NES. It's too primitive. It's two buttons, right? So I can't imagine what that would be like, but he says it's in there. I just can't mess around with it. Okay. So anyway, this comes out on August 30th. 
Now, Those are good. the idea that I had was we can do a special event, a pizza party. Oh, God. So I play the collection all day long. DSP is now the lame, have to the do. lame guy. But we can try them out. Just the lamest. What they're like. You're just yeah. lame. You guys are going to laugh your asses off how bad it is. It's just laughably bad and so frustrating to try to play. And I'll, I could legit try to beat it. And good luck. I, I hope this collection... Legit. Yeah, you never beat anything legitly in your life, Bill. Um, the fighting games would be fun. You're up in Connecticut. You know what good pizza is? Yeah, you know, does it play like Street Fighter? Does it play like Mortal Kombat? What does it play like? What are the game mechanics of that? I don't really remember. It's been so long since I played Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter. I don't really remember much about it. It would be cool to go down memory lane and... Go fuck them. off, Bill. First, you've got the beat-em-ups, which are classics. Now, I own... <laughs> Ninja Turtles 2 on the NES, I probably beat it a hundred times. The game was outstanding, and it wasn't accurate to the arcade, hell no. They had to cut a ton of corners, but it's a great game in its own right. And then, of course, you got the original arcade game. It'll be pretty fun to be jump in and do some co-op, especially if I have some viewers, maybe, who are going to buy the game and want to do co-op with me. I think this would be pretty neat, okay? Um, so, what I was thinking of is doing some kind of, like, a pizza party marathon event where it doesn't have to exactly be on release day. Maybe it'll be, like, the weekend after, so that way... More people can attend on weekends. Uh, Weekend after, I order some pizza. You know, we have a fun event together. I, I'll, I'll a fun pizza, event together. Whatever that I that I buy, and I can eat it with you guys over the course of the day as we're playing Ninja Turtles games. Yeah, I think it could be a really neat time. Seriously, like a special event, all based around Ninja Turtles. Got it. I got it. That's certainly something. Reap, I got an idea for a video. <laughs> never do special events like that, right? So I think you could, you could have you could think about it. Of course, some people would say, "Well, how's the event going to be? Because it's a marathon. Are all your marathons so far member of the Well, they this are. One. But I don't know if I want to do that this time around because I kind of already announced it. You know what I mean? Like I kind of already had this idea and talked about it. Yeah. So I don't know. Let's let's see what you guys think. But if you guys are excited for this, I think it's something that we can set up and try to start. The DSP is getting desperate. It comes out August 30th, which is a Tuesday. But like I said, I don't know. Do you guys really want me to do this on a Tuesday? Yes. Um, I don't know. Yes. Do you want me to wait for the weekend. You guys tend to like my marathon events more on weekends. In fact, people have kind of told me to try to always schedule them for like a Saturday because that's when more people can attend. I couldn't schedule anything on a Saturday, so forget it. I guess we'll see. Let's talk about it. There will be no anything like that on a weekend. On top of that, to do like a special event around it, I feel it would be pretty neat. Okay. My schedule does not line up with that, okay. but whatever. Here's the games that will have online functionality. Uh, Change Your Initials Arcade. Change Your Initials Turtles in Time Arcade. Excellent. Change Your Initials The Hyperstone Hyper. We're getting that, right, FSD? What what platform? And Change Your Initials Tournament Fighters for the Super Nintendo. You say Switch. Oh, uh, the Ninja Turtle game. They're basically saying the uh, Super Nintendo is the better, better version. Actually, um, let's go PlayStation. Was the more competitive version of the game? Okay. Yeah, let's go PlayStation. Release date on that? Online functionality. Uh, the release date on that is August 30th. Okay. We're playing, man. We're playing all those. I mean, games. if I was going to say anything, I would say let's get it on Switch, but, you know, I'm like... All right. Um, I don't mind getting that stuff on Switch. It's just the question is, what's the price? I'm not gonna, I swear to God, I'm not going to go into uh, an hour. I hope I hope he loses Brandon over this. this summer. There's a new game. Well, actually, there's three new yeah, games. Yeah, he's probably going to play Splatoon 3 and only Splatoon 3 on that thing. It's pretty neat because these games are variety. One of them that's added on... Is he trying to flip-flop and trying to trying to say, I hate Neil Druckmann? For the Super Nintendo. We talk all the time about classic fighters in the 90s, and some people have asked me over the years, you know, what was, like, one of the worst or one of the silliest fighters that you remember from the 90s? He the sucks. By a company called Data East. Capcom, not Midway, not anyone known for making fights. Data East. But they wanted to cash in on Street Fighter's popularity. Fighter's history is literally. The people back then, like early YouTube, probably thought this guy actually knew what he was talking about. Either copied directly from Street Fighter or just stole kind of a generalized idea. <clears throat> it's so bad of a ripoff, Capcom sued them, saying it was a ripoff. Okay? The reason I think this game is, is, is it was early fun anomaly is because it's one of the most ridiculous games I've ever played. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that each character is a more offensive, generalized stereotype from someone from around the world, and there are characters that say such awesome fighting game moves as Ding Dong Day. What? I'm not exaggerating, and that's not racist. That's one of the moves in the game. The guy says, ding dong nah. 
As he oh my god, right. don't do it again! Dang, what? There's a guy from France who throws roses at you and says, How about a rose? How about a rose? I mean, I think he's actually supposed to be saying Yamato Rose. But yeah, how about a rose? Because, you know, the French, all they do is they're... Fucking oh, fuck. Oh, that was... Flowers at each other. That was something. It's the most ridiculous fighting game ever made, or one of the most ridiculous. And it was they actually made this game to try to <laughs> DSP's listen his mind. Like, they wanted people to buy this and play it like a real game. And when I, I remember playing it in the... It was like, well, guys, check out this game that says bullshit. Friends did too, who we all played Street Fighter. We started playing this game like, what the fuck? Phil, you're an asshole from Connecticut. Play this for more than five minutes. This is the most stupid game you've ever seen. Um, so, Phil, you're an asshole from Connecticut. Stop it. Comedy value. The game is that ridiculously stupid and bad. Are you going to play it? I, I can't believe they added it to Switch Online. I really can't. I thought this game would be forgotten forever. Really? But people Switch are, Online. know it now because it's on Switch Online. Okay, so Art of Fighting. Yeah, I want to play it as a as a one off like ridiculous, hilarious comedy stream. If oh my god! I don't know because right now we're kind of booked this week. Between we're kind of booked. Balls and stray. We can, well, we're booked, this, guys. We're games, booked. Retro games, Final Fantasy VII and Fable that I've been playing. I don't know if we'll be doing it this week. Plus, this is a shorter week. It's only a five day streaming week. Well, I definitely want to. Five day out. streaming week, guys. It's such a joke game that you have to play. It's one. Of, it's like. I agree, oh, Phil. Just so, sell it. Street Fighter movie from the 1990s has nothing to fucking do with the game, but the movie's so bad it's good. It's a guilty pleasure. That's Fighter's History is the guilty pleasure fighting game of the 1990s. It's that bad. Oh, excuse me. So there you go. Okay. Now, let's get into the big controversy because I want to get it over with. So, The Last of Us 1 is getting a remake. Yep. Which Naughty Dog has... Hey, Phil, you don't have to do this. ...from-the-ground-up remake. All right? It was leaked before it could be announced in early June. And then they had to kind of... Oops, the, the cat's already out of the bag. Let's talk about it during Summer Games Fest. What they said was the graphics are completely redone to be in the new graphical engine. <laughs> That Last of Us 2 is in, only running even better now on the PlayStation 5. They also said the gameplay mechanics would be updated and modernized to implement things from their modern... Let's go, Brandon. No, I'm not. So many things they promised, basically. And then they announced they're selling it for $70, all right? And a lot of people gave this a lot of shit. Like, what $70? You're acting like this is a brand new game. Well... Are the characters any different? No, they're the same characters. Is the voice acting different? No, it's the same voice lines. Is the plot any different? No, it's identical. Same plot as the first game. Oh, okay. Um, you know, so what is different? Oh, the graphics, the gameplay. We're adding one of new accessibility features, which is outstandingly cool. Um, well, what about the multiplayer? Is that in it? Because if you remember, Last of Us 1 had factions multiplayer that a lot of people like. Oh, no, that's not it. Wait, what? You're reselling. It's coming over. With not. It's coming later. Original game, but you're charging more money. Yes, that's what we're doing. Well, why? Because we made this game from the. You also forget that this motherfucker don't want to do anything. Everything is redone, retool. But wait a minute. You just said it's the same plot, the same characters, the same voice acting. It's the same game. Yes, but you did it all from the ground up. No, 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 no. The moment that they announced they made this game from the ground up, they lie. That's not what it means. Well, you lie every day of every second. Everything is new. Everything. If you... This is why I don't want to listen to them ever. It's it's a headache. Anything. You. This is why I don't want to listen to them because everything is just, stand. I'm going to shove this up your ass. Market this game to the public for months now, okay? They've been mismarketing the game for months now, all right? So why am I bringing this up? Because there's been all this controversy over the game over the last few months. I've talked about it on this podcast before. Okay, I'll give you my opinion that I do feel it's a ripoff. They One hopes that the game doesn't sell and Young Yi actually gets a shot at, they said we're charging at defaming Neil Druckmann. The whole situation would be fixed. Y'all now! $30 for this game because it's not new. All right, fine. Now people want to make an educated, you know, an educated decision on if you want to buy it or not. Right? Great. Make your educated decision. But when you're charging $70... That's the price of a brand new game. You're essentially saying this game is new. It's not. It's the same game. Bill, what's your profession? The modernization. System. Let's player. Okay. I'll be. Who gets to write off video games on their taxes? You. 
I have seen side-by-side -side comparison of the original Last of Us, the Last of Us remastered that came out about a year after the original Last of Us on PS4, and this new version, the remake. Visually, sometimes I get confused which is which. If you wow. see the logo saying what console this is on, I can't tell the difference, and I don't even know what... You play in 1080p. The problem I feel with the Last of Us remake is the PlayStation 3 version of the game, okay, was so good. It was best in class for that console. You would be hard-pressed to find a PS3 game that looked or ran as well as Last of Us 1 did. You ran that great. Hurrah for that console. It literally pushed the boundaries of what PS3 could do. Quite frankly, it looked better than anything else. I think that's why we all were blown away by the game, and I gave it Game of the Year back then. I thought it was insanely outstanding. I did. And so, when you tell me, oh, well, this is a remake, here's all the new graphics, and I look, and I'm kind of squinting. Here's all the new graphics. There, there is a big difference. They actually showed a picture. Here you go, guys. Here's all the new graphics. This game versus this remake, it's completely different. The giraffe is, looks real now. It looks like a real fucking animal. It's awesome. And actually, that was one of the things that did blow me away visually. I was like, wow, that looks really improved. But a lot of the times they're showing the character models and shit. And I'm like, that character model doesn't even look better. It just looks different. Like they wanted to change the physical appearance of one of the main characters. That's what I thought, Pizza Bob. Yeah, that game chugged in places and was like sub 30. They look. Like and when it went to PS4, that's the version you should play it because that game ran at 60. But again, it. It's your choice if you want to get the game or not. I think one of the things that a lot of people are arguing about is the accessibility features, which is fine. Yes, everyone's arguing about the accessibility fe features, right, Jay Winnell? We were just saying the other day, man, oh. I wish there was a game where we can just sit around and just... You're watching Why the fuck is Darth Vader here? Lord Vader, why are you here? On the screen. And this has been a thing for movies, television... Lord Vader, why are you here? A lot of stuff. Lord Vader, why are you dead? And to have someone audio describing everything going on in the scene in a professional way is a rarity. And to get it, it's a win. It's a major win. The fact that they're actually doing this for The Last of Us 1 remake is outstanding. I 100% am happy about this. Apparently, they're going to be implementing. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but they claim that they're going to be implementing a lot, if not most, of the accessibility features from Last of Us 2. If they put that sonar shit in it that I saw from Last of Us 2, that's crazy. Phil, why don't you just say, I don't like Neil Druckmann, how he implemented his games, and just... Play sonar and I think the accessibility is cool, Brandon. Is it $70? You can't even do that. Because guess what? He's trying to have this, like, weird cake. The Last of Us 2, but also... It's not even a fed set. Totally new game, and they only charge $60 for it. Yeah, Last of Us 1's fine. Pricing that People like that one. That one's fine. No problem. that The Last of Us 1 remake is still overpriced. Last of Us 2 is when it got into it has all these into uh, weirdness where it had to be like, look, guys, girly. We're selling this game for the people who don't like video games now. Already made. And it's like, yeah, they really, really love this game. Putting in accessibility features. Charging. Uh, you know, the Keelys and the, the Yornos of the world. It sold, it made its money, but a new game at what at what price? It's really, you're gonna see the damage. You might see if the if the damage is done with this. Justification for the pricing of the If Last of Us remake, whatever, doesn't sell very well, then none of this someone at Sony and Naughty Dog will have to go like, yo, the fuck. If they weren't charging $70 for it. This is why the entire internet is calling it a cash grab, okay? So why am I bringing this up? Because, of course, this happens during my day off. There's a leak. Brandon. Someone who worked on and or tested the game puts out an exclusive video clip that they made of the game. It's about a minute long showing the gameplay of the game. And they basically say, as you can see during this clip, which is legit, they've lied to you. They told you that the gameplay elements of the game would be redone to be like Last of Us 2. They are not. It's the same exact gameplay from The Last of Us 1. And then they proceeded to show a minute video clip of it being exactly the same as The Last of Us 2. Bill is the only cash grab. That's the only thing he cares about is the cash grab. Bench now has features from Last of Us 2. I don't really know what. I don't remember the difference between the weapons bench from Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 2, quite frankly. So maybe there's a little bit of a difference there. We're going to play our Mario Kart and everything else tomorrow like we always do uh, FSD, but it'll be shortened. 
new execution animations that are taken straight out of Last of Us 2. Apparently they were present in Last of Us 1. They maybe will be an early hoodlum hours tomorrow, you know, exactly. tonight and tomorrow. What you're doing is you're just adding little tweaks. That's not from the ground up new oh, gameplay. Yeah, I don't I don't close today, but people have been pretty shit, so never know. I am. I'm, I'm tired of you. And saying that they lie. I'm tired of you. Doing this. Why? And why? I'm tired of you, Phil. Shut up. Why? Because they it makes money. Keep doing this. Why do you keep doing what you do? Okay. Let me let, let me explain something. All right. I'm upset. I don't know why I'm. I'm upset. upset. Because Naughty Dog has done this twice. Now. Not much. Just yeah. we're finishing up Fortnite, sadly, and listening to this asshole. Features in a AAA game. People who never. We should play sometimes. Or we'll be able to play them just like. We're almost. We're almost done with our session. So sorry. A huge win. I think I'm gonna finish up when he stopped talking with Mario Strikers. Or Ragnarok also may be implemented. There's a new update, so I kind of want to see how Daisy plays. Super excited for that, right? I am fucking tired. They don't play it then. If he's gonna play it, he needs to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It's it's tiring, man. It's it's like, it's like okay. I just this want is gonna be weird. It's like being strapped to a chair for all and you can't move, and the only thing visible is your is your uh discourse around is your mouth. Like that's how it feels like listening to this podcast. It always feels like it's being it does. I mean force fed fucking potatoes. Instead of being able to sit here and say, hey guys Like I hate it. I hate that you can't just say the story. He has to go he has to go the extra mile and go, guys, I hate Neil Druckmann. There's all this toxic bad nature because not dog white there. I don't I'm tired of this shit. I am. I'm tired of it. What, how do they keep making the same mistake? It's the, it's the same mistake twice, but Last of Us 2, they lied about the game. They told everyone that Joel was going to be part of the game. They put the gameplay trailers in the game and during the party. There's a play and bait and switch. They could pull a fast one on the gaming on. Yeah, he has to be super extra about it. Fucking faces. Like, he, he can't... It's like, pick a side, Phil. Do you want to be with your boyfriend, Brandon? Or do you want to be... Do you want to... Do you not want to be with your boyfriend, Brandon? The internet, so that people would become almost like a... Do you want to be with your boyfriend, Brandon? Or do you not want to be with your boyfriend, Brandon? It worked. So I guess he's some kind of a marketing genius? But God, it was just a toxic year. Why are we going back there? I don't want to go back there. We were past that. I was like, oh, we can move on now. At least now everything they do is kind of to learn their lesson. And they won't lie and try to fool people. And they did it again. Two years later, it's like they learned nothing from all that controversy and shit. In fact, I would almost say this is doing being done on purpose. Why would you lie about your game when you know eventually it's coming out? But why are you lying about a computer in the wedding that you knew that it was coming? Up a new game because it's the same fucking gameplay. So create controversy around your game and create that whole vitriol in the gaming community again, pitting this group against this group. And, and don't play the game. Buy the game, and if you're this group, you won't. But now these people are even more motivated to buy it for seventy dollars because they feel like they're sticking it. Then don't buy it. Then don't buy it. Fucking don't buy it. Then play something else. It's it's good for today. And it needs to fucking stop. Then don't buy it. Like Naughty Dog is fuming. Yo, son of Quan, give me a gift. You're intentionally doing this at this point. Pop, all right. But what's funny is it might be backfire because I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> really? in the last 24 hours. Oh, I love it. Like, well, I will. Oh, I love it. This game. I believe with Naughty Dog. <laughs> okay, bye. Naughty Dog we'll play around. Has revealed that there is no. <laughs> you you want to play around? We'll play around. Oh, I love it. Discount later on when it goes on a sale. I'll buy. Oh, I fucking love it. Eighty dollars. The thing is, Naughty Dog was so <laughs> Little Whip caught with their pants down with by this leak. Little Whip. Their own ten minute gameplay reveal yesterday that revealed pretty much not much besides some new accessibility features, which everyone catch it for. Yep. But outside of that, it's like okay, it's exactly what you thought. So that leak wasn't fake. The leak is legit. The gameplay is exactly cracking the rip on game. fucking games over here. Differences. Little game. Whip. But it's not The Last of Us Two. In the last, so dumb. Game, literally just the Last of Us one again with better graphics and accessibility features. Oh, by the way, no multiplayer. I can't believe that. They bought the multiplayer. They, they cut out the multiplayer. 
The original game had a full multiplayer mode. I remember playing it and, and saying, wow, this is so original and so cool and so refreshing to have something like this in a game. I loved it. I was like, wow, this is great. I, I'm happy they put this in. And then they took it out of The Last of Us 2 and now they're gonna sell it as a separate game. Did anyone remember when they said it would be in The Last of Us 2? All right, let's see here. It wasn't in there, so that was an overpromise under deliver. Wait, where'd it go? The multiplayer as its own faction game. Wait, it was supposed to be in the game I bought. What happened? Right? Uh, now I gotta buy it again? Oh, by the way, don't don't worry about that. We're remaking Last of Us 1. Oh, cool. At least I'll be able to play factions again. Nah, it's not in it. What? You I'm being stupid. Like, trick after trick with these people. So, I understand all the controversy around it, all right? At this point, you know my stance. $70 is too much for this game. I don't care how many accessibility features they wedge in. I don't care how many graphical overhauls the game has. It's the same game you played on your PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. It's not a different game. It's still The Last of Us 1, all right? There's no new chapters added. There's no new story elements. There's no new gameplay. It's the same game. It's not worth $70. If you paid sixty dollars for a brand new game that had great groundbreaking graphics and accessibility, and you go find little whip years ago, there's no justification two years later to sell you a game you've already played with said graphical overhaul and accessibility features for seventy. You can't justify it. They are absolutely trying to make bank on a game. And what the the real hilarious part about all this is the marketing blitz. They've actually had the game devs go out there on the internet. <laughs> Thank you for, thank you, Whale. Oh, dip and flavor. <laughs> thank you. I'm so stupid. No crunch making this. Try to find dip and flavor. Really? No crunch? Yeah, because the game's already fucking made. He's so Those stupid. That already existed, but the game's already done. All you got to do is overhaul the graphics, add in accessibility. Are these big undertakings that take a lot of work? Yes, but you didn't have to make the whole fucking game original. So, of course, there's less potential for a thing like crunch. It's like... Dip in flavor. Would explain all of these things going on. But it says no one has fucking common sense anymore. Flipping away. All right. I'm being stupid, but whatever. It drives me fucking nuts. It does. I, 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 we, we can play another round if you want. This I got a little bit of time for work. Progress in the realm of accessibility. Look at all these positives we can talk about. But it's like, oh, I want to talk about that. But now I got to talk about a bunch of toxic, negative shit. The game that lied to everyone. They're ripping everyone off. I'm so tired of it. Like, like seriously, how can Neil Druckmann live with himself at this point? I don't even know how he can. How do you look in the mirror every day and be like, oh, we're doing all these great things. But at the same time, now we got to wrap it up with all this toxicity. on. You know what? You're right. That would have that was cool. I don't know, man. I, I, I they have everything in this. That would, I, I, I would be I would need a shrink, <laughs> quite frankly. I would. Your chem that's final? Crazy. That's cool. That these people are behaving and trying to push this game. Yo, that's really cool. Take the cake. Uh, good. This is, this is, uh, <clears throat> you know, modern. Big ups to that. You know, I just. Uh, Homie can't take the can't take the uh, the summer off, but that's cool. That's insane. It does. Well, when you're done with school and your finals, then we we should play. I'm honest with you guys, and I gotta be like pulled in the middle of it because I know you guys want to hear my opinion on it. So I got to talk. Listen, I'm super happy on the one hand, and I'm super pissed on the other. Why does it have to be mixed? Right? Why can't we just have, why can't we just be happy? Right? Why can't Ooh, we Shut be up, happy? Phil. Why does there have to be the toxicity and the lies tied in with the, the toxicity life? of the city? No. This game would have sold on its own merits. And even if they put, they said it was $70 and they were honest. There's no new gameplay elements. However, the graphics... Are you know, Phil, not everyone pays attention to the bullshit of gaming news. You understand? The price point may be an issue for some people. I know, weird. Justified, buy it if you'd like. Instead, they lied about it for months, and then they had to get... Oh, Phil, not everyone listens to... You know what I mean? And then, oh, quick, run to... Run to... Uh, to try to save face. And then the other thing is some of the posts are, oh, you know, it sucks that leaks happen. It's terrible. It really is disrespectful to the game devs. It is, actually. I agree there. There shouldn't be leaks. But why do you think your game's... There shouldn't be leaks. Lying. Uh, what? How the fuck do you... There's nothing... How the fuck do you not do leak? No one would leak it. How the fuck do you not leak something? Honest about the game from the get-go. Phil, how the fuck do you not leak something? 
but you keep being dishonest to the world so people keep calling you out on your bullshit we call you out on your bullshit and you go hey look squirrel my god all right my final say on this until there's other news about it because i really don't want to talk about this anymore all right is there any situation where the game is worth 70 bucks? No. What I would say is, if you've never played The Last of Us 1 before, ever, and this is your first time experience with the game, this is an amazing game. I love it. By the way, no amount of lying by Naughty Dog, no amount of drama, no amount of... My discount All right. out of Last of Us 2. Came up, take away just from became a game. member again. I'm way more mature than that. The Last of Us 1 is one of the best games I've played in the last 10 to 15 years. As a standalone experience, it's an amazing game. I love it. I've replayed it. I, right away after I beat it, I played it within the next year and I loved it again. I think it's an amazing game. I love The Last of Us 1. Okay, that's not, again, it's not going to change no matter what other shit happens. And it should be... What, uh, what other shit happens? Own game. It's, yes, you could say it's part of a franchise. Oh, I don't like the rest of the franchise. Fine. But The Last of Us 1 is absolutely fucking amazing in my opinion. I loved it. And I, it will always stand in my mind i'm not one of those people that say well last of us one got ruined because of last of us two i'm never going to say that last of us one is great all right he's trying to say this because of his boyfriend brandon I'm grateful that they are putting the amount of work into it that now a whole new audience of people who previously could not is the only reason he's doing this because of his boyfriend brandon it was a decade ago you didn't have a ps3 whether it's because you were it wasn't accessible and now it'll be accessible to you that is amazing, outstanding, groundbreaking, and that's a huge positive. Is this the only reason why? Because of his boyfriend, Brandon? Your situation. You've never experienced Last of Us 1 before, and this is your chance to do so. By all means, buy the game at $70, and you will probably get that value out of it. Just understand you're not getting the full game because originally there was a multiplayer included with it that they cut out in this version, all right? As long as you're okay with that, and you think that's justifiable, by all means, enjoy the game for $70, all right? But I literally cannot justify someone who's already played Last of Us 1 spending $70 on it for this game. It's not a new game. And Naughty Dog lied to the public about it and got pulled out about it with a leak, and then they had to try to save face, and they didn't save face. But what Thank you, Relentless, for becoming uh, a member. Well, you see, this is what really what we were trying to say. And so, you know, don't listen to them. Those people who are, again, being toxic and trying to spin it. And way, no one's spinning anything. No one is spinning anything. You lie. And now you've been exposed for it. And a lot of people are actually upset about it. Well, every time we expose you, you, you ran like a bitch. A lot of Last of Us 2, they don't like being lied to now. If this is your marketing ploy, this is what you're going to do moving forward, uh... You are going to essentially become a very polarizing company, and that's not a good thing. You're a polarizing really person. It's supposed to be for everyone. Isn't that the whole point? Of trying to make games more accessible. Is that that's the man that them? that so people should be sold off for profits. A split between gamers with your behavior. I just don't understand this. I don't. And I, I unless you know, I just don't understand it. It seems to me like this is something that is calculated because they knew what the game was. So why lie about it? If they'd been honest about it, none of this would have ever happened. Just tell everyone what it is. Listen, original gameplay is the same, but a lot of other things that are improved, we feel it justifies a $70 price tag. If you just refine, that's okay. Instead, they lie. And that pisses me off. All right? That's the last thing I have to say about it. Maybe there's a situation where it justifies a $70 price tag for you. Great. Enjoy it for the first time and love it, just like all of us did on the PS3 many years ago. It's unfair that you maybe weren't able to enjoy this game many years ago when it was new. That's bullshit, and I'm happy that people will be able to experience this amazing game for the very first time. But please understand that that's not the case for everyone if you've already played it. There's no way this is $70. It's just not. There's no justification. Okay, I'm done. Unless there's another new development, all right, around this, I'm not going to talk about it again. I wanted to get it off my chest today. I'm fucking done with it. I can't deal with this toxic shit anymore. It pisses me off. I didn't even have to bring it up. It's in. It really does. I'm just I'm tired of it. I don't want to talk about Naughty Dog anymore or Last of Us anymore. I just don't. <clears throat> okay. Whew. This looks like carpet instead of grass. Yeah. We start off today with Bookworm who re-upped his membership. Thank you to Bookworm for the ongoing season. 
Zway did his $2 super chat and said, Dead by Daylight is still going strong, you should revisit it. Oh, I know. I keep seeing things on social media about the new expansion, the new character. I'm like, damn. That game's been out a long time and they're still putting out active content. So that's awesome. That they've got a vibrant community that supports the game and they still love it to this day. That's really neat. Monk did the super chat and says, Hope you're doing well and family. Uh, thank you, Monk. Appreciate that. And Spartania. We play a lot of games here. I buy a lot of games. <laughs> Except for we're getting fucked, but we're gonna be playing Xenoblade this Friday. That's really exciting. Next week is Xenoblaz. They use Spartanius one for the super chat. And SD Chargers just re-upped his membership as well. Thank you to SD Chargers. Okay. Now on the tip side, we've got Shia. Give me two dollars. I finished my first run of As Dust Falls last night. Based on the decisions you made, your experience will be dramatically different. You definitely want to go back and evolve your choices. So apparently the game really does a totally different story. Wow. So I think what we'll do, like I said, today we beat it great. And then it will be up to you guys if you want to see me continue it. If we do, likely we'll end up being night streams moving forward. We'll do two hour increments trying to purposely do different things. Okay? Okay? Cool. Um, six, 61 second man took the dollar fifty and moving forward to the closet stream. I understand you're reluctant. You should try to put some items on eBay. There's, there's no way I can do it. Excuse me. There's no way I can do it. I just know it. I know that the moment I put something on eBay, people will be sniffing around. Even though I'm telling you now I'm not doing that, people will still be sniffing around like they're idiots. I feel bad because there may actually be someone legitimately who puts shit on eBay and get hounded by my trolls, but I can't control that. I'm not selling anything on eBay. Remember, guys, he's not controlled by the trolls, but all right, but absolutely know. controlled by the trolls. Try to ruin it, fake bids, scamming, nasty comments. And there's no point. Well, you can pick the person that you want to fucking win the bid. And it sucks. If I was an anonymous person that you cared about, yeah, I can easily sell stuff on eBay. I've done it before in the past, but not since I'm a content creator. I just can't do it. It sucks. Okay. Tarantula MS 2018 is $5. Hey, Phil, what's going on, Tarantula? How you doing, man? Oops. Yes! Tarantula. Scored one! Yeah! Okay. Thank you, Tarantula. I'm do uh, how, you, how you doing today? He even, I realized he didn't ask me a question. He just said, hey, it Phil. It's not begging, it's business. Oh, it's begging, all right. 51 second man to be two dollars fifty cents. Just feel I want to ask you in chat's opinion. I do any of them. Uh, I have the wait. What? Oh, he wants to know what to get rid of. Um, he has all these different streaming services. He says he has Netflix, HBO Max, Netflix. Netflix. Get rid of Netflix. He's watching is the boys on Amazon. Uh. And we lost. We got it off. Uh, I'm dying. Oh, you know what? I can't hate. And a bunch of original content. Get the ball in there. Yo, Matt. The, the Mario 2 guy just scored the ball. Uh, Disney Plus is all your Marvel and Star Wars plus Disney movies. That's a tough. That's actually a tough, tough question for me. If I was like, Camelot needs to do more. Which of these is the lessest? The lesser. But having Daisy in the game helps. For me, probably Netflix. Because, I mean, yeah, I love Stranger Things, and obviously I would like to see Stranger Things season 3 back on Netflix. I haven't anymore on Netflix. Um, but outside of that, when I had Netflix, I was very easy. Like, I would use it to watch things once in a blue moon. And, you know, I, a lot of the times I would be browsing and saying, what's on here, what's on here? Like, wow, I don't like any of this. And I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, I just wouldn't really... I wasn't actively watching what they had on there. So for me, like Netflix would be the one to get the cut. Like Marvel movies, Star Wars content, and some Disney animated films. All right, we get to see Daisy's, uh, and hold on. Daisy's animation. Oh, she bumps the ball with her ass. One or two shows a year on Netflix. What the, what? HBO Max to me. No, no, that ball's out. That ball, he, he's going to catch it. He's going to catch it. A lot of movies. Oh, it went in. It went in. HBO Max, either right away or just within a month or two of them being new. So I would say if there's something specific on HBO 19 seconds left, three. Get the subscription, watch it, and cancel it. 
HBO Max is a good ongoing value. Disney Plus, again, if you like Star Wars, if you like Marvel, or you like Disney movies, that's a big, big value, and a lot of people like that stuff. Yeah, I would say Netflix is my, my, that was the one I would cut. If I had a mall and I wanted to cut, so. The hoodlums did not win, but we didn't lose. I'm looking forward to it. It might be a wild guess that Mrs. Burnell of a part was coming up with this great idea. I think you do stuff like drinking beer and beer nights. Uh, no, I haven't spoken with, to her about it at all, actually. This is Burnell. This was, technically, we talked about it on stream and came up with this idea. Do you remember? It was a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> we were talking about it, and we were trying to brainstorm future ideas. Then we came up with it, and we were like, oh, that might be something interesting, right? Yeah. What's up, Jay? Good morning, man. How you doing? All right. Guys, let's end the pre-stream. Oh, yes. Ramrod, a.k.a. Dome Splitter, who just re-upped his membership. He says, how much is PS to blame for the Naughty Dog situation? I have no idea. it. That's one thing I don't know. I don't know how much influence or control PlayStation has over Naughty Dog. Uh, All of it. You know. I, I, quite frankly, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm done with the subject. I'm just tired of it. I just want to piss off Brandon more. How dare you? About it, you know. I thought we were done with this two years ago and then the shit has to rear its ugly head again. It's like, it's like we never moved on from two years ago. It's like, oh my God, we're right back to fucking square one again. Enough with this. Blaine, what's going on? Good to see you as well. How you doing, Blaine? He sucks. I hate him. He looks terrible. At least he wasn't talking about fucking computers. You guys know how I feel about when he talks about fucking garbage computers. Robert Matthews running out of patience with DSP as well. Yeah, they own it all, but it's just, I'll say this for someone that's been doing podcasts for as long as he's been doing stuff. It's just the way he talks about things pisses me off. I hate it. it it's like if someone is like, okay, it's like if someone, this is going to be extreme. Someone strapped you to a chair or strapped you to the wall. It's like if someone strapped you to the wall and then and then choked you. And while choking you, they talk they talk about video games. You can't and God forbid if you talk back to them, they punch the shit out of you. That, that's how I feel about that when when he talks about about things on his podcast. I feel like I'm being choked out. And then he says, no, it's OK, guys. It's OK. I'm not choking you out. So yeah, that's the thing, right? <laughs> it just it just it just feels like a choke out. And also, it's not a conversation. 
it's not a conversation about it's not a conversation This is the problem with this. Everyone's really good at this game. Everyone. You're just going to get fucked. So that's the problem. You like getting your ass kicked. This game is, is for you. Also seems like something's something's wrong here. Is every time I do something, it just goes retarded. It goes stupid. Hi, do that. It's like hello, off you go. See, I can't even score. AI it's just
playing with the new update of Mario Strikers before work. Now he's gonna block it. Oh, we tied up the game. We're going to overtime, guys. We went into overtime and got fucked. Yeah, the, the pre-stream was just straight up choking. What is that? What is that? There is a form of, of like role play that people like. DSP isn't recording. Yeah, yeah, DSP's racist per, he's racist. He says, I'm not gonna address it guys. I'm gonna be above it. Yeah, not addressing it. You know what I can say, Jay Reynolds? DSP supports child trafficking. Doku World Order donated there. cents through Super Chat. If you're going to be dumb, if you're going to be dumb, DSP, I can say something like that. And you can go, no, I do not support that. Well, like, well, you not, you're the one that kind of, Nah, it's, I'm, I am, uh, I'm sorry to, to regret that I am not going to be here when you get home. I have to go to work myself. And then later tonight is hoodlum hours. Yeah, today I roll silver, but who knows what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen today, you know? We did about what? We did about 26 hours of streaming. More than what DSP does. Well, half. We did half a week of DSP streaming in three. Well, if you count it up, we did more than DSP streaming.
scored one in. The Mario 2 snippet gets it in. Daisy's got it! Yeah. Up in that ball, and she's just gonna use her other leg to bump it and fump it. Yay! It's in. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't gonna buy that game anyway. N look. Look, the only reason I would have. I, I, I've just. I'm so done with with Naughty Dog and Neil Druckmann and those kind of games. Like, like they are fucked up with everything they said about it. And I mean, I hope the young Yeez kick his ass. I'm, I'm sure our friend Mannix is having a fucking masturbation field day. I mean, it seems like a lazy remake for for a game that hasn't been that old and everyone can play it. Now they're doing a, they did a remaster on the PS4 at the early beginning. Now they're doing a remake. It's like you couldn't do another you couldn't go back into your old archives. Uh, you know, to do a game uh guys. Like people need to st He got it off. Not even that it's just it, it it really is just them testing the waters and people going like people love the last of us and they would love to play it again i'm like i really don't i really don't it's not like some game back in like some like th there is a version of that game and it's one of those things right just just maybe it'll be good for the people who play it on pc Maybe those people get excited about it, but it's like, fuck you, go away, go away. Go the fuck away. Go away. Screwed up the game, I have to reboot the game now.
right, let, let's let's check out this 11 minute leak that they said it, it, it leaked. Let's check out this 11 minute leak and. It's not even about looking down. It's just the PC Master Race is really if you just want to play games at a, at the way you want to play them. I think people are like, oh, I look down on them. Some people like, yes, but they, they're not going to. They don't know who the fuck we are. Oh, man. oh no, guys, we're gonna talk about a game. They don't know who we are. If they did, then I'm like, you're right. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna play too much of this, but. Looks like the same game to me. But I, I guess some people like the gunplay of The Last of Us 1, so what's wrong with that? No. I can tell you it's the remake. Look at the ground. It's way more prettier. That orange, not in the game. Not in the game. That orange, that's ACR. Let's see if we can pretty it up, though. Nope, doesn't look as pretty. And motherfucker missing burns the top of the roof. And he knew it. What are you, Jerno? Yeah, this is definitely PS5 graphics. I can see what the fuck that says, Little Dreams. Fuck! Up there! Oh, man. The frame rate's rough as shit, though. Also, is this bag moldy? Don't lose him. Yeah, I mean, the frame rate always comes last to be toned up, but. This late, in the, this late in development? Why is the frame rate so blah? Behind you! Yeah, this is PS5. We met in Hey, go around. Masters were green. Oh man. Where the fuck are those clicker things? Those things suck. Remember, if DSP plays this, it's because of his boyfriend, Brandon. Watch my back. Look, I'm not saying Last of Us is a bad game. It's fine. I just don't think it's time for... For a fucking remake of a game that came out at the tail end of a PS3, remastered on the PS4, and then remade on the PS5 seems ridiculous. It's like if Nintendo 
uh, put out melee on the on the Wii, remastered it on the Switch on the Switch. <laughs> No, they're going to sell that as a separate product. But the question is, what the fuck are you going to add to this game for people who are going to spend 70? All right. I think that's the last of them. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, this doesn't look better at all. This doesn't look good at all. All right. I just don't like paying $70 for fucking video games. That's all. Especially, and, and when I say this, it's it's all about what you get for your 70. I did not. I'm going to, did you send it to me? Is that what you sent me, uh, Reindeer Dude? Oh, that's Rob Arm. Oh, yeah, that still really is Rob Arm Wheels. I saw this, but I wasn't sure who the fuck this was. Wasn't sure who this was. So, do I have... I have the wording that he said. I have it. You said it to me. I have it. So, let's put this in the context for people. So this is Robert Matthews, Rob on Wheels. Vroom, vroom, boom, boom. Seatbelts, everyone. Please let this be a normal field trip. So this is the context. Oh, this is the... Wait, where's the... Where's the original... This is the original, right? No, he's replying to him. No offense, but you're seeing what I'm seeing. You can't see. Hey, Phil, he can't see what you're seeing because he can't see. You know that I am 100% for accessibility. Only if it's for money. And this is the first Sony game ever with full audio description. A huge win, but they literally lied about this being new form, being new from the ground up as the animations are mostly identical. What the fuck do you want them to do? Break out and tap dance? Hey, what do you want them to do? Fucking break out, break on tap dance? Like, what do you want? Your wording? Okay. Okay, it is this one. Your wording and POV, your uh, POV? Point of view? Why would you put it as POV? And then she's highly offensive to blind people. I stand with super blind man. And I'm running out of patience with you. Yeah. Weird. I'm running out of patience. We are out, running out of patience. You had patience for this asshole? We were out of patience the minute we saw him. Run, Rob. Run. Run away. You're not listening to us. Run away. Yeah. Run away, dude. Run away. Become the butterfly you've never been. Well, they don't have a view. They have a point. They just can't. Whatever. I'm making that joke too much. Man, Rob on wheels, this man, it, it's like, you think Rob's listening to any of us? You think Rob's listening to us or 
any of us in seeing this because when you see someone say, I'm running out of patience with you, GSP literally puts you against the wall and goes, well, I never liked you anyway. Yeah, not DSP. No, they don't care about DSP's begging. I think that's proven they don't give a fuck about his begging at all. They don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, you know, like I said, you know... Me and Brandon would not get along very well. That's all I could say. We would not get along very well. <laughs> like, oh, super blind man came in. We wouldn't, we, you know. Well, tipster, my head's already been checked. Do you want some? Well, tip, sir, my head's already been checked. Like, that's the problem, right? Tipster says something stupid like that. He says, oh, your head needs to be checked or examined. And it's like, tip, sir, you sit on a fence so much that you have splinters on your ass. Why are you defending, you know, and if I, if I had 200k subs, that motherfucker would defend me to the, to the edge of time. you imagine if I had 200,000 subs, Tipster would be licking my ass. He's a bootlicker. Wasn't Rob on Wheels the one that sent him the Genesis Mini? Jay Wendell, wasn't that last a uh, few years ago he sent him the Genesis Mini? Question, who? Who gives a fuck about that dude? I show speed. How about I show you? That annoying little piss bucket? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's that black guy that's really crazy and stupid. 
We don't. He's just really stupid. He like screams a lot and goes. It's not very good content. It's just really just screamy shit. It's it's basically PewDiePie again, but whatever. And people are like, isn't he great? No, no, he's not great. He sucks. He has so many subs, like I give a fuck. Good, yay! Everyone, great news. I got speed, got banned. This is here. Judge Judy, justice is here. I said it was some annoying little piss bucket. Not you, the M. He's some YouTuber that plays like Fortnite Minecraft. I'll probably get freed anyway because people would have, you know, I'm sure Susie or whoever's going to talk to him and say, stop being shit and. It'll stop being that, and that'll be it. They're gonna sit him down like they did with, uh... Well, after this match, I'm, I'm actually gonna just go into the shower, and you all can just look it up later. <laughs> Super Black Man's crapping on DSP in chat. Sounds great. Go get him. <laughs> Jay Whittle's like, nah, I don't want you to take a shower. Get, get. <laughs> Go get him, Blind Man. Go get him, Bruce. <laughs> oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Yeah. No, I, I watch speed or I do speed. I am speed, speed racer. He'll he'll get unbanned in about soon anyway, and why is this? Jesus? <laughs> play in about 27 seconds and I'll be our close off. <laughs> Why does this team keep fucking scoring on us? Oh yeah. Like literally, it's like ha 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 lag lag. Oh no, mamma mia! Well, I gotta quit this. That guy can just the magicians can go fuck themselves. Mamma mia, that one spicy bullshit. And this is why we don't play this game too much. It just. The frame rate's all fucked. Is he talking about him now? Like. Huh. 
Huh. <laughs> the way I see it, probably would have given him plot armor into the woods. Peter Chapter 4, yeah. I feel like he would have had plot armor, he would have survived even if you shot the cop. But what the fuck is this? I can't even read the message. <laughs> All right, here, here's what all of you gotten, all of you got at do what? Okay. All you got at do the ignorance of this discussion is breathtaking. I am shocked and appalled by how uneducated this all seems from a smart person. Now that's the problem, Brandon. He's not a smart person. See that 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 that's the crux of the of the uh, thing you said right there. From a smart person, does this look like a smart person to you? But is that necessarily the right choice? You know what I'm saying? Like that out later. If he has, I think we know why. <laughs> I think we know why he did. With all the scandal and everything in the. All right, let me check this out. Let me see if one of those people, if that's true. Yep, 14 minutes ago, Vince McMahon announced his retirement from WWE. Vince McMahon is out of the building. So yes, that is that is uh that is big news. Vince McMahon is out of the building. So yeah, so yeah, I am the villain. News recently. So value safety tries to prevent harm. You know, all these different things. Look. Left in the... So yeah, this McMahon did retire. All right, everyone. Vince McMahon really retired. All right. He was 77. Time to go. Time to go. You know, time to live your golden years. Now, now the wrestling fans can shut the fuck up. They need to bring the clone out. Well, he's still alive. I mean, Stephanie's still there. And now they're going to go to PG-14. Yeah, man. I mean, the company's in great hands. Retire. Go away. Everyone hates you. Okay. When I say everyone hates you, of course, not everyone hates Vince McMahon. Okay? Okay. Time to go. I'm not going to listen to the wrestling people because they're going to I mean, are, I mean, literally, they, they are they going to, should they celebrate? Sure. Are they going to celebrate? Sure. They're going to do this and go like, guys, he's out. <laughs> Triple H, Stephanie McMahon are in charge. Let's go, guys. Let's go. He's out. Let's go. Fuck you. All right. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. And and Rob. And leave. Leave this melted bitch and leave him forever. Leave this melted bitch and leave him forever. But, rest, but the outcome's fake. Not not the actual wrestling. That that's real. The actual wrestling's real. The uh, the other shit's fake. All right. 
<laughs> time, time to go dust off the dusty trail. There will be a hoodlum hours tonight. Get, get, get your, uh, when, uh, when the wheelchairs are revolting, we'll be there. When the real chairs are revolting, we will be there to revolt. It looks like it looks like they're mad at at DSP gaming, which is happening. All right, good night. Thanks for watching.